update yo jermaine crazy video so i don't know where i left off with this video the last video i made i was um i was like i'm going to the dentist right so let's just start again so okay i take bart i go to the dentist right i get to the dentist show up five minutes before okay walking in there's a security guard at the door which i thought was a little weird like security guard at the dentist the dentist's office was packed. It was maybe 10 chairs sitting around this table. It was packed. They had these X's on the floor and the security guard was like, yeah, go stand on the X. I wait on the X for like, I wait on this X for like five minutes. And there's like this lady behind me, like this, this, this privileged type lady. And she's like, hey, I'm just curious. Like, how long is it? It's going to be like, I've already been here two hours. And the lady at the front desk was like, oh, well, it's probably going to be another two hours because one of the dentists is out. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you want, you can reschedule, but we can't make it go any faster. And I was just like, dang, that, that, that kind of sucks. Like, do I really want to be at this dentist's office, you know? So I wait for another 15 minutes and I'm thinking, dude, if I have to wait another five minutes, I might just leave, but then where am I going to go if I leave, right? So they finally get me to come up to the freaking desk, right? When I get up to the desk, the lady's like, and everybody at this desk is really busy. Even when I come up, like they're still on the computer typing. There's another woman on the back on the phone. There's someone else with a whole bunch of drugs in their hand, like needles and stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, um, yeah, my, my, I need to dentist appointment. Like it's an emergency. Like I'm all swollen up. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. We, we can't help you. I recommend that you go to the general hospital. And I'm thinking, what's the general hospital? <laughs> Well, if you don't know, the general hospital is the, the, the Zuckerberg Hospital, a.k.a. the Facebook Hospital, right? So it wasn't that far. It was like a mile away. So I was like, okay, cool, mile away. I'm so glad to get out of that dentist's office because I don't know if I can go back to that dentist's office. Yo, that place was a mess, yo. It was just so many people, and it just looked very, very disorganized. And I've actually heard about this sort of thing with dentist offices in the Mission District. They just, they be crazy up in there, yo, with, with the COVID restrictions and everything. There'd be too many people in that joint, right? So after I got off that X, I went walked down to the freaking, all the way down 23rd Street, because I was at Mission and 23rd, and you could see the freaking hospital, because you got to go from Mission 23rd to like 23rd and Petrero, that's the Facebook hospital. So I'll go walk over there to the Facebook hospital, right? And I'm thinking, I don't know what this is going to be like, right? So I get there, and there's an emergency room, and there's urgent care. I don't know how I did this, but I walked into urgent care. When I walked into urgent care, they told me they were like, it took all my information. What are you here for? What are you doing? It's kind of weird. They did not ask for any insurance information until the very, it was like the last question they asked for, right? So they asked me all these questions. How does it hurt? Like, where is it? Up, down, here, there? Like, very, very detailed. How many hours? Like, what did you eat? Are you, have you taken any medication? Like, just very, very detailed, right? And then they asked me to come sit down behind this rope, and they're like, okay, let us see your insurance information. And I was like, dang, why? could I ask for that earlier so I showed them my insurance information and they went and checked and they said well your insurance won't cover this and I was like okay if you want to know what insurance I have I have Kaiser right they were telling me that Kaiser is really good and they were saying that like there's a lot of Kaiser hospitals around and then the guy was just like why are, why did you even come here if you have Kaiser right and I was like well you know I had a toothache so I went to the dentist the dentist told me to come here I didn't, I mean, my, my face is like all swollen up. Like I'm just gonna listen to the dentist and just come here, right? So I get there and the guy was like, well, you know, you can go to a Kaiser hospital and there's a Kaiser hospital over here and there's one over there and there's one over there. So I found one in the Mission District and I was like, okay, no, uh, Mission Bay. And I was like, okay, I'll go to the one in the Mission Bay, right? Come to find out that wasn't actually a Kaiser like emergency room. So I had to go to the one on Divisadero. And this is just like, this is getting crazy because it's like, bro, I woke up at like nine and I was, I woke up like hella early. I called for that appointment at like nine. It's 2 p.m. I've just been getting the run around. Like I've, I went to the dentist. Now I went to the freaking hospital. They're giving me a run around the, at the freaking urgent care. And then this other person comes out and said, well, actually you're at the urgent care and your insurance won't cover this because it's an urgent care. But what you can do is you can just walk across the walkway to the emergency room and the emergency room will accept your insurance and you can take that route, right? And then another dude told me that I have another route. You know, he was saying that just go to Kaiser, right? Because if you go to Kaiser, like they're gonna help you, they're gonna do everything. 
And then as I'm making up my mind, I'm like, well, I don't know if I should just go across the walkway. If I don't know if I should just go across town to go to Kaiser, right? And then another chick came out and she's like, hey, what I really think you should do is you should just go right down to 24 from, um, 24 from Petrero to the Walgreens and just get some ibuprofen. Because I did tell her that I did not take any ibuprofen during this whole ordeal because I don't, don't like to take pills and stuff like that. And she said, since you haven't taken any ibuprofen, if you go to the any emergency room and you tell them that you haven't taken ibuprofen, they're gonna give you ibuprofen and they're not gonna give you anything else. Um, and if you want to go across the walkway and check yourself into um, our emergency room, FYI, it's going to take hours because there's a bunch of people in there. I just left out of there. And I honestly, I don't wanna send you across the walkway to wait hours if you're already in pain. The best thing for you to do is just, just go down to Walgreens, three, four dollars, and you can get, you know, some, some, some ibuprofen, right? So I was like, all right. But then I was like, look, I haven't eaten in like days. I'm like hungry. Like I don't, I'm like dying. And she was like, look, just go, go get like a smoothie. Go drink a smoothie. Like it, it'll help you. Go drink a smoothie. Go look for some soup. Like just try to drink, eat, eat some soup. And then after you eat the soup, you know, try to, you know, try to take like, you know, something, but don't take ibuprofen on an empty stomach. Like, don't do it. Like, put something in your stomach before you take the ibuprofen. So instead of going like straight to the Walgreens to get the ibuprofen, I'm like, I, I gotta go get food, right? And then take the ibuprofen. So got me a smoothie. Bomb, got me an $11 smoothie, yo. $11 smoothies are really, really good. So got my smoothie, right? And then I walked all the way to Whole Foods. Went over to Whole Foods. That was cool. Yeah, that, that was cool. Got me some soup, soup was freaking amazing after i ate like i don't know like maybe three-fourths of the soup and drank all the smoothie i took two of the um, ibuprofens and then i passed out and woke up the swelling went down quite a bit and i was starting to feel better because after like a couple days of not eating it's not just this that's giving me problems it's like my body not having any nutrients you know so after that, I was, um, I felt a whole lot better, a whole lot better, because I just needed to eat. I really, really just needed to eat, really just needed to eat. So now I have another dentist appointment at the other dentist, right? At the, the original dentist, the one that's like really, really far away, because I don't know, dentist, like shopping for a dentist in, in the city is just really insane because I was talking to um, someone and they're saying that if you're shopping for a dentist, you don't shop for price. And I'm like, if you're shopping for a dentist, you don't shop for price? Like, dentists all charge different amounts. It's just like electrician. Like, electricians are gonna charge different amounts. It's just like someone that, 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 that that's, you know, a house cleaner. They're all gonna charge different amounts. $25 an hour, $50 an hour. Like, so I'm supposed to like go to the dentist and like, shop blindly you know it's like i don't know what to do here so i don't know maybe someone out there can 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 give me like you know recommendations to a dentist in the bay area that doesn't charge like seven thousand dollars for one implant because basically that's what i've what i the prices i get around here in my neighborhood it's like seven thousand dollars for an imp one freaking tooth right and you know there's other places like that sketchy dentist's office I went to in the mission that was like 4,500, you know? And there's a, the other place I went to, like, that's farther away, that's like, I don't know, around 4,500 to 5,000 for an implant. But like 7,000, and then I'm supposed to shop, like, blindly? Like, come on, like, who shop? I, I don't know, like, it, it, it's insane. But like, today, I feel so much better. Um, have a dentist appointment tomorrow. Don't exactly know what they're gonna do because yeah, I don't know. They, I'm, I'm sure they'll, they'll figure something out. They'll, they'll probably do an x-ray and say, yeah, you need this done and you need that done. And I'll just be like, yeah, let's do it, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much my day. That's pretty much what I got going on. That's my update. And yeah, this is um, my life. Thought I would make another wag job video. I like these videos where I just sit down and talk the whole time and don't edit and don't make any mistakes and just, uh, yeah, just upload it like this. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. This is my life. This is your boy Jermaine. Another day, another adventure. And I'm so happy because I got some orange juice here from yesterday. Gosh, I'm so trying to hide something from you guys. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Bye bye. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo.